<laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So again, we're here with Keith. Downhill Southeast series ends up at Snowshoe. I'm gonna go for hit all the big jumps, but also I'm gonna try some tech and hope I don't get hurt. So, stay tuned, because we're at Snowshoe. I met up with my friend Angelo to go over five big features I wanna hit while I was at the park today. Starting with the cupcake gap, take that down and hit the dirt to dirt pro GRT gap. Take that over to hit the upper hairball rock roll. Then take that down to hit big ash. The jump line that's fresh here, ready for smashing. And wrap it up with a little wall ride action. So, start our first run at snowshoe. Got little Ryan here. Uh, Angelo out front. We're just gonna smash the cupcake drop off the rip. Pay attention that I remove my fingers before I reach the feature and only put them on back once I've landed. Out. All right, go. let's go see it. Boom. Nice flow, nice and crisp. Woo! Let's call first timer. First timer. Woo! Look at this happy dance. It's happy dance. That's what we call a happy dance. It's a happy pansy. Oh, pansy man jumped it good. Now we move on to the Pro GRT gap, dirt to dirt. Double road gap. I mean, this guy said, oh, you can do it. And he was like, all right, I guess I'm about to do it. Uh, let's get some more angles of this jump. Now we're moving on to the upper hairball rock roll. Roughly six foot drop. Oh shit. Skyline is the longest and fastest jump line in snowshoe. No gear, he's got me with the no gear. So now, he's got to ride fast enough to try to catch him with no gear. Ooh, that hurt. Come on, no gear. So pumping these landings is super important. It's the only way I can accelerate. Oh, no speed. Speed up. And right now, everything I'm doing is scrub to get more speed. No brakes, as you can see. I have my heels out. I'm trying to pump any little thing. Because that was 20 consecutive jumps on the same trail. 
Looks like I got a few more to try to chase them down on the next section. All right, so I'm gonna try to keep up again. I've got no gears, and Angela's a cat one downhill racer, so uh, let's hope for the best. And as soon as he wants to drop me, he just goes. I have no more gear now. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've got no more gear. Skyline has over 50 jumps for you to enjoy, and I challenge you to hit every single one of them. That was fun, dude. We're gonna head over to Ninja Bob, get warmed up before we hit Big Ash. This is the big ass jump line. If I was gonna come for anything at Snowshoe, it would be this right here. All big size jumps and they're all starting. I'm about to walk it and we'll check it out, but I think all of these jumps are at least 15 foot. Uh, some of the bigger ones are definitely 25, so.
This wall ride might be a little rough, but still tons of fun. Alrighty. Hey guys, so it looks like we're gonna go ahead and be wrapping up uh, our trip to Snowshoe. Got some good features in, just hit a wall ride I hadn't hit before, tweaked my bag. I'm a little injured, so I'm hoping that by race day, I'm doing a lot better than I am today. And I'm sure I will be. Gallagher's running great. Just amazingly different getting on a downhill bike versus a all mountain or enduro. It just takes so much more. The head tube angle, the wheelbase, everything just allows you to really be a lot more care, you know, carefree. But I do always will love the trail bike because there's more play on it. How do you feel about your trail bike? I love the trail bike at the park. It's just you can flip it around a little bit more. Downhill bike, you'll just point it and go over stuff. The trail, the trail bike, you'll hop around. It's fun. They both have their place here. All right. Well, thanks again to Keith and uh, St. Matthew Cycling for having me up. And most important, pedal a little harder, don't touch the brakes, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Thank you. Huh.